Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech, and these are Apple's AirPods Pro 2, or the second generation as Apple calls them. As you can see on the back, they just say AirPods Pro, and then below that they say second generation with MagSafe charging case. So these come in at $249, let's go ahead and unbox them, we'll compare them with the first generation and see what they sound like. So let's open them up here. Not a whole lot of sticking there when you pull these away from the box. And these are the same price as the current AirPods Pro or the first generation. And inside we just have a little pamphlet here, of course our warranty card, and it shows that you can charge it on an Apple watch charger along with a MagSafe charger or just with lightning. So it just shows the different features here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the AirPods themselves and let's take them out of the box. So these are the AirPods, of course, inside the box too, we have a couple different ear tips. We'll take a look at that in a second. And then of course you've got your lightning to USB-C cable. So that's just included and that's all you get. No charger included in the box. Now let's set this aside and you have some ear tips available and now there's a new size. So let's open this up. We now have an extra small size. So you can see here, extra small, small and large. The medium size are actually on the AirPods Pro themselves. Unfortunately, these are not compatible with the first generation. So we'll try that in a little bit. Now let's open up the AirPods themselves. This feels a little bit heavier than before. There we are. And the case does look a little bit different this year. From the front, it doesn't look any different at all, but here's the AirPods Pro first generation on the left, second generation on the right. If we look at the bottom, of course you can see we have what appears to be a reset button or something along those lines. Apple just says speakers. So we have our lightning port, speakers, and then on the other side we have a spot where we can put a lanyard. On the top, nothing's different. On the other side, nothing's different. And on the back, it looks the same. So we have our pairing button. So I guess they're just speakers on the bottom and that's it. We also have a U1 antenna in here so we can use Find My. Now let's go ahead and open them up and let's take one out. Before I pair them, let's compare them to the previous generation. So here is the other one. So you'll see here's the previous generation side by side, the little speaker or port on the part closest to your skin. You'll see here looks like a proximity sensor is a little bit different. On the top, it's a little bit different. The second generation on the right side here. From the outside appearance, it doesn't look too different other than that the first generation looks slightly discolored. And then also from the bottom, they don't really look too different. However, the first generation has a little port on the bottom, the second generation does not. So there's slight changes there. And like I said, let's see if the ear tips from the second generation will fit. Many people are saying they don't and Apple has said they don't, but they do seem to fit on without a problem. So it's on there and it's not coming off easily. So technically they may not fit, but it seems like they fit just fine. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look at the new AirPods. Now, of course, on the front, I didn't show you, but this looks pretty much the same as well if you take the ear tip off. So you can see first gen on the left, second gen on the right. Of course, you can see the touchpad here as well. This is actually touch sensitive this year, not just pressure sensitive. So you can actually swipe to adjust volume. Now let's go ahead and we'll put that in the case. We'll bring in the iPhone here and let's get this paired. So let's try this again. I may have to open these back up. And there was a little sound when I closed this. If I open it, it makes a sound out of the, the speaker on the bottom. So that's pretty nice. It lets you know you're opening up the case. I've never lost any of these, thankfully, but let's go ahead and get this paired. So we'll press connect. It says AirPods Pro. Made a sound from the case that it's connected. Nice little touches there. And now it's showing us on the iPhone, different media control. We can adjust the volume and you'll see here a little graphic where you can swipe up and down to adjust the volume. So that's a nice way to adjust the volume itself. And you've got noise control. Now this time around, Apple says that they have up to two times better noise cancellation. So we'll go ahead and close that. They're paired here. If we go into our settings, you'll see we have Aaron's AirPods Pro number two. I'm going to rename those to AirPods Pro 2. So we've got the name here. 
That way we don't get confused. And there we go. Now, of course, we've got the same sort of controls here, and we also have personalized spatial audio. I'll need to set that up as well. I had that set up before, so maybe it just carries over. And then you've got a few different settings. So as we scroll down, you'll see different accessibility settings and your Apple Care and more. Of course, this year we have adaptive transparency, so it actually will adapt to reduce loud noises, but allow you to hear the environment as well. Apple actually showed an example where someone was outside, maybe with construction work, and it reduced that noise, but still let them hear the ambient noise. And I'll test that myself in a moment. And then if we go down here, again, personalized spatial audio. It looks like it's already set up. Microphone is automatic, and the microphone is supposedly better this time around. We have an all new H2 chipset with custom drivers and updated microphones with a new amplifier and redesigned inward facing mics to make your voice calls sound more natural according to Apple. So we can try and test that. As far as battery life, six hours of battery life, 30 hours total with the case. So you can charge this, like I said, on MagSafe, Apple watch chargers, or just using lightning. Also, we have IP4X sweat and water resistance. So that's the main changes this time around with the touch controls, but they should sound a lot better as well. I can't imagine they fit any differently within your ears, so I'll try them out in just a moment. I listened to the AirPods Pro second generation for a few minutes, and the first thing I noticed right away is when I placed them in my ear that noise cancellation was definitely better. With the first generation, I could actually hear the air conditioning system blowing into the room. You could hear that ambient noise. I put the second gen in my ears and that sound was completely gone. That reminds me more of the AirPods Max than the first generation AirPods Pro. So that's definitely improved. Of course, I've only used them in that environment. So it may vary depending on whether you're flying or maybe you're driving in a car or something else. I did listen to some music, some different types, some instrumentals, some with vocals, even some with spatial audio, and right away I noticed there's a big improvement. They remind me more of the AirPods 3, but with noise cancellation. So you've got that AirPods 3 sound, which is improved, but you also have a more pronounced bass sound, probably because it seals in your ear a little bit better. So because of that, along with the personalized spatial audio and maybe just some other algorithm changes with the new H2 chip, it definitely sounds a lot better. I wanted to go back to these right away and the first gen don't sound anything like these, at least in my opinion. They're not for audio files, but they're definitely better. Spatial audio has improved this time as well. And spatial audio sounds more along the lines of what you get with the AirPods Max. Head tracking was nice and fast. You could tell that the sound was coming from a certain direction very easily. As you move your head around, you could tell it still stayed in the same place. So they've done a good job there. And it's more along the lines of AirPods Max than AirPods Pro first generation. Some have said that it's better, but in my initial testing, it seems very similar to what you get with AirPods Max. And that's a great thing at about half the cost. Now, as far as overall fit, I think they're pretty comfortable. They're basically the same as AirPods first generation when it comes to the pros. So if AirPods Pro first gen don't fit in your ears comfortably, these probably won't either unless you just needed the smaller ear tip size. So if extra small is the size you need, they may be comfortable for you now, but right now they feel identical. So if that was a problem for you before, it will still be a problem for you now. Now, I also wanted you to hear the microphones from these as they're improved, apparently, in the AirPods Pro second generation. So I used the voice memo app using the microphones from the first and second gen AirPods Pro so you could take a listen. So here are the AirPods Pro first generation. This is the microphone from the AirPods Pro first generation. So this should give you an idea of what it sounds like compared to the second generation. And here are the AirPods Pro second generation. This is the microphone from the AirPods Pro second generation. So this should give you an idea of what it sounds like compared to the first generation AirPods Pro. And so that should give you an idea of what the microphones sound like. Of course, it can vary depending on your environment and more, but overall, they definitely sound improved to me on the AirPods Pro 2. One of the new features this year has to do with Find My. You have speakers on the case itself, and it will also notify you if you leave an AirPod outside the case. So if we go into our Find My app, you can see here it says case plus left bud. So that means it's outside of the case. Now let's play a sound so we can hear what it sounds like. Beep. 
So you heard what it sounds like, and then you can also locate it using the ultra wideband antenna with the find nearby option. So just like you can with an air tag, you can locate it just by pointing it in the direction of your AirPods. So those have been added to this version. So that's my initial take on AirPods pro second generation. I don't know that I would run out and pick some up if you already have a first generation pair, but if you lost some and you need a new pair, well, definitely pick these up. If you have AirPods max, they're going to be a little bit of a downgrade. They're not as good as far as overall sound quality just because you don't have the larger drivers however if you don't have noise canceling headphones these are really really good as far as canceling out noise convenience and they seem to last quite a while but let me know if there's anything specifically you'd like to know about airpods pro second gen if you'd like me to do a little follow-up review let me know in the comments below if you haven't subscribed already though please subscribe and if you enjoyed the video please give it a like as always thanks for watching i'll see you next time